Welcome to Hacking Arcadarons, Lesson 6, Changing Colors. In this lesson, we will learn, very simply, how to alter the colors that you may see in various sprites or backgrounds in the video game, and how to understand the actual circuitry that does that. Welcome back to the Hacking Arcadarons series of of lessons it's been quite a quite a while since we did a lesson probably four or five months now I've been busy sorry um, but recently a couple weeks ago someone emailed me and asked hey uh, I have a moon patrol game and I would like to alter I want to hack the ROMs to alter the colors so it more, looks more space like and so I helped this gentleman out and um, while I was doing it I'm like you know this would be a good little topic that uh, I could cover. And it's, it's going to be a fairly short one. It's not very long at all, actually, because um, it's fairly simple. Um, so to do this, we will have to hack ROMs. We actually have to understand a little bit how the hardware physically works on the arcade game boards. And generally what happens is when you um, use a game, even computers today use the same concept, um, what you have is a grid. You know, you have so many dots across the screen and so many dots or, or space spaces horizontally and vertically. And each space is just a little dot on the screen and each space is defined or assigned a color. And usually you don't assign the color with any type of um, direct color value. You know, you heard RGB color. Um, that, that actually comes into play later. But you don't, each, each position doesn't get like a full RGB color. Usually you just get an index, a number, like one through whatever, you know. Um, in the game the Moon Patrol, for the characters, it's 1 through 32. So for each dot, it just gets a number, an index. Um, so maybe the topmost corner has, you know, color 5, and the, the, the color right next to it is maybe 3, so forth and so on. And then maybe 5 again occurs somewhere. Everyone who has 5 will get the same color in that, in that respective position. Um, and what happens is that color is usually looked up into a table. That index 5 is looked up into a table. It's actually a memory address. You can think of it kind of like a memory address. And in the memory address, whatever usually expands in the old games out to eight bits. So five was looked up in a table and um, a, a memory actual, um, not, not system memory, but it, it's really just an address. And then it, the, the computer, the game board, looks at the value in five. And let's say it's eight bits, and Moon Patrol is eight bits. So five has a eight bit value. And that eight bit value actually is, is, is assigning the red, green, blue component colors. So maybe um, three bits are red, three bits are blue, and two bits are green. Who knows? Okay, you can't have with eight bits. You can't have actually three of each. You know, three bits for each. So one's going to have more. Um, two colors are going to get more specific colors, or have more granularity of their their shade, if you will, than the other. Um, and what happens is those values, that eight bit value is 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 broken down into red, green, and blue component, and then literally sent to the the monitor. Um, with, with those components, okay? And let's look at how that happens. So what you need to do is get the mo Moon Patrol schematics. You can just Google Moon Patrol schematics or Moon Patrol, sometimes they're called the drawing set. I already have it up here. And um, for example, let's actually start off Moon Patrol real quick, just so you can see it. Um, so I already have, if you watch my other lessons, you probably are already in packed MAME and all that. I've already got my thing all ready to go. Um, we're not gonna waste any time here. So I'm just gonna type MAME um, moon, or it's actually M Patrol, and you don't have to do the debug. Actually, it's MAME 64, and you don't have to do the debug um, because we're just going to look at. Oops, I'm in the ROMs directory. Huh. So let's go back to directory and try it again. Okay. Oops, I can't show that the way I want. Let's try this. Let's actually go ahead and do um, debug because that will allow me to pull my window over here, make it big. Let's try that again. It's really fighting with me today. Let's uh, pull it over here, make it big. Why is it not? Let me just expand it myself, there we go. And we'll just hit F5 to get it started. Okay, and so you see Moon Patrol is running. Now, um, in this example, we're just gonna actually change the color of the the wheels. So you see they're um, mostly black, okay? 
Um, so when we think about that, let's just pause this here. There we go. So you think about that, you see um, these, pix these pixels um, are all going to have the same color value. So if this is color value, I don't know, um, one, or color ID one, all these ones that are black are going to be color ID one. These uh, blue, light blue in the middle are going to be some other color value. Let's say five. I don't know. Um, I'm just making that number up. Okay. And let, let's replace this. We want to replace this to make it something else. Let's make it blue, actually. Okay. So we can put away the Moon Patrol game now. And let's get the, those schematics out. So I found Moon Patrol schematics. I found the section where they find, um, where they actually draw the colors for the, um, the, the sprites, if you will. Okay. And where did it go? Here it is. This is the, this is the, the section oops, that draws the sprite colors. And you see here, we have something um, here, and this is actually a RAM chip. This F1 or 1F, you see you have address lines 0 through 4. That's actually five address lines because we start counting at 0. And that gives you um, 2 to the 5th power, which is 32 different colors. Um, so each, when, when the picture, when the game is putting out each pixel, each pixel is assigned a color. Um, let's say zero, 0 through 31 or 1 through 32, you can think of it's actually 0 through 31 um, because computer people like to count at 0. It's, it's weird, I know. Um, so every time a color comes in, every time a pixel is red, the color comes through this circuitry as a number, 0 through 31. And that is, looks up in this RAM chip. Actually, it's not a RAM chip. It's a ROM chip. It's, um, it's just like game code, except it's color code. And, and whatever position, you know, let's say we, we look at position um, index 1, okay? Because that's actually the one we're going to look at. Um, some number will be output. And so what you have here, as you can see, though, this is a resistor network. And, and um, what this does is, is it takes the values. So you see D0, 1, and 2 all are combined to this network, which goes to blue. So the blue component is of bits, the, the um, bits of memory the, for, for that address 1, um, the, the 0th, 1st, and 2nd bit. And then the green component is the 4th, 5th, and 6th. I'm sorry, the third, fourth, and fifth bits. And then red is the sixth and the seventh bit. Okay? So if I wanted everything to, the color to just be pure blue, all I have to do is turn all these on. And that's the maximum blue you can get. If you wanted a lighter blue, you would turn some of these bits on and, and others off um, to get a lighter shade. But I want to have the lowest three bits all one because that will turn these, um, these resistor networks and add that value to the total component value. Okay? Um, and then I want everything else off, because I want it to be pure blue. So what that's going to look like is, if I turn the lowest three bits on, we'll put a 1, 1, 1, those are the lowest bits, and then fill all the other bits, all the other five bits to zero. And that is um, that number, turn that into a, um, hex number, which is 0x07. Okay, so this is this is um, this is the seven here, and these are zeros. Okay, so if I wanted to turn that that position, all I have to do is find the position that the the, um, the index that that the the tire uses the the color that the tire uses, the color index, and turn the value, whatever that index is, to seven. Well, in Moon Patrol, and you can see it here, this is the, the prom chip, F1 or 1F. So if we open up, we go to our uh, Moon Patrol, go in here, and click on MPC 1F, open it with Hex Workshop. And let's get it out to 16 across. And I'll tell you right now, because I know, um, the color black, that is the tires, is actually position one. Okay? <clears throat> I 
Now, and that's zero, zero, because um, this is the RGB color. The, the value, the index that is the pixel has is one, which turns into a color, okay? A, a color value, an RGB color value. Remember the, the um, where did the schematics go? The topmost bits are red, the middle three bits are green, and the low three bits are blue. Well, with, where did my hex at? There it goes. With all bits turned off, that is no color. That's black, and that's why it is black. The value of zero, zero ends up being black. Well, and I said, if we put the value, we want to only turn the, the blue gun on for, that, for, the, for those pixels. Um, that value would be 07. So let's just save that, 07. Okay. And let's open up Moon Patrol again. So we'll just hit Moon Patrol, or main 64 Moon Patrol Debug. The only reason I'm doing Debug is because it makes it easier for me. I have too many monitors. There, I can just grab it over here. And if I put it in Debug mode, it lets me move it easily. And hit F5, and look at that. Our tires went from blue, um, I'm sorry, not blue, black to blue, okay? Now anything else that was black, like you see these gun areas, well, those turn blue too. Those are black because <clears throat> those pixels, remember the, the, the sprite is just gonna to, um, set a value um, when it wants to draw something. And anything that was black on this character is now gonna be blue, okay? Because they're all using all these blue colors or what was blacks is using this, the index value one. And we changed the actual color value that one is associated with from black to uh, blue. So let's shut this down and we could think, well, you know what? What happens if we turned all the, all the colors bits on? Give it the maximum blue, green, and red possible. What would happen? Well, if you know anything about art and additive colors, when you turn on all colors, of the the, the um, foundational colors it actually is white so let's see let's test our theory and let's change seven from zero seven to ff which is all eight bits are set save it and everything that was blue on that little character should turn white so moment of truth here we go And sure enough, everything that was blue is now white on that character. Now with Moon Patrol, there's actually different colors. Um, there's a different prom for the background, scrolling background, as well as, as the little characters, the sprites. So um, if you're interested in that, I believe, where is my schematics? I believe the, um, the other prom that handles the other color is somewhere around here. And it's, it's a similar setup. This is F1F, and we'll notice there's a, there's a, here we go. Um, the scrolling video board, sheet one of two, has a similar setup. They have a, a, a prom here, and it has more addresses. You see it has zero through eight, that's, so that's nine total addresses. So there's different things that can be um, put on the screen. Or each pixel in the background can actually have, there's more color values, more indexes, if you will. But ultimately, they get turned into another eight bits. And again, we see we have a, a, a network. This time, the low three bits are actually red. The middle three bits are green, and the top two bits are blue, okay? And that's prom, according to this, 2A. So if you wanna play with a background, knock yourself out. Um, that's really all for the lesson. I just wanna show you how you, you do that. You just have to um, find out what, that, what ROMs hold the colors, and then find out um, how the color components actually go. You know, what bits are associated with what colors. And you can turn on, you, you know, we, you don't have to turn on all the blue bits and none of the, the rest. You can turn on some blue bits, some green bits, and some red bits to get the, you know, a shading, a natural, sh uh, the natural RGB color um, wheel or whatever it's called. So hopefully you learned something. Um, that was pretty simple. Now you might be wondering, hey, how do I know what colors are, you know, what positions? You know, what I would do, honestly, when you only have 32 bits, just, you know, start changing them, you know. 
Okay, let's say that uh, one wasn't actually the wheel color. I just start changing two, turn it either all on or all off, because it's very easy to see white and um, black, they stand out, until I find the color that I'm looking at, you know, what, what, what um, indexes or memory addresses are associated with the, the part of the um, body or the part of the, the object that I want to manipulate. That's it.